Hey, it's Liz with Big Tex Worms. Today I'm going to show you how I prepare my bins for summer. Um, here in Texas, the temperatures get, you know, up to 115 degrees for 110 to 115 degrees for a few weeks in late July, early August. So it's June 23rd and I'm going to go ahead and prepare my bins now for summer. Um, one of my main tips for heat, composting in the heat outside, is to not feed food scraps because the food scraps heat themselves. And if you're already dealing with um, outside temperatures near the hundreds and then you add food scraps, it can be, um, it can just mean your worms are going to die. So I don't feed any food scraps in June, July, or August to my worm bins. And you're like, oh, well, what do your worms eat? Remember that bedding is food for the worms. So I add a lot of bedding in late June or early July. And then that's all, I don't feed again at all until September. So what I add is peat moss that I've wet and then paper, paper shreds and dryer lint. Now this isn't a magic formula. It's actually just whatever I have on hand. This happens to be what I ha have on hand. And I'll also will add some of the already aged compost from my compost pile over there. So you can use cardboard only, paper only, um, I wouldn't use peat moss only, um, just because it's not real nutrient rich. Um, lint, dryer lint only, or compost, aged compost only. Again, you don't want to use fresh compost or fresh manure because it will heat. So I have about a third of my bin contents in the bin. So I'm just going to mix in all these items into my bin contents. One other trick that I do. See how it's piled up higher over here on the right side than it is on the left? I leave finished compost or finished vermicompost over on one side. Um, just, you know, that one side is finished. That way, if for some reason it does heat over here where I'm adding all this new, um, new bedding, they can go over to that finished vermicompost and chill out. And it's said that worms will actually continue to process um, castings up to three times. So this isn't completely finished. You see there's still some debris in it. So it'll just be a good safe place for them to run to if it happens to not get, not be good over here on this side um, while it's um, being worked over here. And you can see over here on this bin, I already did this to this bin. You can see the peat moss in there. I already readied this bin over here for summer about three weeks ago. So that one, that way, this one on the left will be ready for me to process for customers um, right at the beginning of September. And then I'll just work my way down through my three bins. So I hope this helps um, you guys who are composting outside to give you some tips on how to keep your worms alive during the summer.